everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out our newest plugin on Spigot called LuckPerm's GUI. This is a free to download plugin we took over from an old author here on Spigot. Uh, this guy right here we took it over from. He was no longer updating the plugin, so BJC Dev Development came in and said, Hey, we'll update this for you, blah, blah, blah. Um, it is pretty popular with 25,000 downloads, so thank you all for the support. It means a lot. Um, so what it does is that it adds a GUI to LuckPerms. It works for LuckPerms 4 and LuckPerms 5. No matter what version you're on, it will work perfectly fine for you. If you are on LuckPerms 4, all you have to do is download the plugin, drop it in your plugins folder, restart the server, and it works fine. If you're on LuckPerms 5, um, it, you do have a little extra step to do the plugin, but I won't go over this in this video, but all you have to do is follow this. It only takes like five minutes to get LuckPerms 5 working with this plugin. Not a big deal. You just download something, put it in the LuckPerms folder, and it works. Pretty much it. Um, so the commands of the plugin are LPGUI or LuckPerm GUI. You can also do LPGUI user the username, LPGUI group the group name, and the only permission is LuckPerms.GUI, which is pretty cool. Um, so we'll go over it a little, um, mostly five star reviews, which is very nice too. So when I jump in my server, the only s plugins I'm going to have on the server are LuckPerms and LuckPerms GUI. So you can see exactly what the plugins doing. The first command of course is slash LP GUI, which opens the LuckPerms GUI. You have three options. You have groups, you got users and you got tracks. So we're going to start off with groups and we're going to create a new group in here. So you can see I have an owner and default group in here and you can just click new group to create a new group. And I'm going to name the group like test group yt or something and it's going to say successfully created and then you can see test group yt and it's here of course we can click and edit it we can add permissions we can set up the prefixes and suffixes we can add the keys we can rename we can set the display name and all that so why don't we add a permission and like test.test .test would be our permission so then it's going to be added and we can of course check for the permissions and we can click all permissions and view the permission as long with we're removing it and it also shows you by hovering over the info page some cool info about the groups which is pretty cool it's pretty nice of a plugin here and then of course you can add users to groups or edit users by clicking users and click their username to see all their settings so this is me you can see my name my uuid my group and all that stuff and of course you can add permissions to the player add parents add suffixes and all of those and then you can change your primary group so if i'm going to change my primary group and i can just enter my name and we created the group called i believe test group i believe that was the next name we did we did not make it test group so why don't we check what the group name was it was test group yt so if i go back to my username change primary group to test group yt you can see it then has test group yt and of course i can change it back to owner as well we can promote myself to different groups we can demote myself to different groups all those good things are in here as well we can remove ranks from all users so you, if you wanted to remove the test group for yt from all users you just click this click it again it will remove it from all users or click this click confirm it will remove it all from all users which could take some time depending on your server and how many people you have in luck perms which is pretty cool so if you were doing like a server wipe and you wanted to remove everybody's wipes and everybody's ranks you could do that easily from the gui as well um let's open up our luck perms gui again and we can select tracks and you can see we have a test track why don't we just create a new one called owner test right there and then you can edit it by pressing it. You can add groups to it. So if we wanted to add the owner group to it, we just type owner in the chat. And then you see owner is here. You can clear groups. You can add groups. Insert a group by just doing um, the group and the position and everything. And of course, if you enter something wrong, it's just going to open up and do nothing. Uh, you can see the info. You can delete it. You can rename it, clone it, all that stuff. So if I wanted to delete it, you just click delete. You can see it's deleted. Now the only test track is there. Users, some other cool things you can do is you can add their own permissions. So you can view all their custom permissions. So if I wanted to give myself the everybody permission you can see it's here and i can just click it to remove the permission from myself as well it's very unique very cool to use and very easy to use as well because it's just pretty much drag and drop you can also edit offline and online players by entering their username so if i wanted to enter my username noodle0711 you can see it i got my uuid and i can still edit them even though they're offline and of course i can demote them from groups and everything and all those good things so they all um, work pretty well and all that good stuff. If you have questions on how to use the plugin or anything, just let me know on Discord. I would be happy to help you out and answer any questions you might have. I know this is a pretty, f have fairly, pretty fairly requested plugin on Spigot and stuff. I've even l had the LuckPerms uh, creator reach out to me about it and stuff, and he's... Um, he also was like, hey, can you open source this? Yes, I did open source this. It's fully available on 
GitHub under the MIT license um, available now if you go on to GitHub and go ahead and you can source it or fork it or whatever you want to do with it, edit it, whatever you want. Even if you contribute, we are very happy for people to contribute to the plugin. It does mean a lot if you do. So thank you all for so much for watching. If you have a question on how to use the plugin or anything, let me know. I know this is the first plugin tutorial video in quite a while, and I apologize for that. I just not had time to record as in depth, in depth, eh, whatever. I can't speak. I haven't had time to record those, so it's mostly been server reviews, but thank you so much for the support, it really means a lot. I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Goodbye.